Hi, Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Weaver and Miss Buchanan, and we're here to demonstrate how to assemble the XCP. All right, so we're going to start over here with this set of XCPs. These are for phosphor plates. So this is something that is not included in your kits, but this is something you will have to learn. Over here, we have your XCP for the digital sensor or SHIC sensor. This is something that is included in your kit and you will learn how to assemble this as well. Over here, we have different colors, meaning different areas of the mouth. Blue is designed for anterior teeth. Red is designed for bite wings. Yellow is designed for posterior periapicals. And your SHIC sensor images are going to be the same colors as well. Blue for anterior, yellow, posterior PA. Red is for bite wing. Over here, I will show you how to assemble your anterior. You can tell that it's anterior because of these blue prongs. You are going to take your bite stick. I find it's easier when the bite stick is facing up and out away from you. Put your bite block on the end here and your ring will attach to the end of this rod. Look through the ring to make sure you can see this back plate of the bite block just so you know that you can get radiation reaching to this point here. This is our phosphor plate. The phosphor plate has a little A in the corner here. That is going to mean your dot. During the skill evaluation and during all image takes, we are going to make sure that dot is in the slot. We also want to make sure the sensitive side of the uh, phosphor plate is facing your radiation. So this blank side is the sensitive side. When you put your phosphor plate into your XCP, here is the slot located down on the corner of this bite block. Dot will go in the slot. And we can use some additional items to secure your phosphor plate in place. So now we have our sensitive side facing the radiation. Our dot is in the slot. We are ready for placement. We have a type knot. There are going to be three maxillary anterior placements. One, is the canine, two, they're the centrals, third is the other canine. For mandibular anterior, we have the same three shots. We have the canine, we have the central, and we have the other canine. For the bite wing, we have the red ring, the red rod, and the red bite block. So the bite block is going to be attached with the airplane part sticking away from you. Then we will put our ring on. Make sure you look through the ring and you can see this plate here. When you see that plate there, that means you've built it correctly. This one will be placed with the rod sticking outside of the patient's mouth. You want everything going more anteriorly towards the front of the patient's mouth rather than the back. If you place it this way, this rod is going to get in the way of the patient's cheek and that will not be very comfortable. So always place it with the rod facing out. When you build this one, you can flip it to the opposite side and place it for the right and left sides. For yellow, there are two different ways that you can place yellow. One way will work for the maxillary right and mandibular left. The opposite way is going to work for maxillary left and mandibular right. So this way, when you look through the ring, you can see the back plate and we can place our phosphor plate in there. So dot is going in the slot, sensitive side facing radiation. We can secure that with a little band here just to help keep it in place. So this is ready to go for maxillary left. We have the rod pointing outside of the patient's mouth here. And we can also place this mandibular right. So the rod is going towards the anterior placing outside of the patient's mouth, not getting in the way of tissue. If we need to flip this around for the opposite quadrants, 
we will take the bite block, detach it, just flip it upside down, reattach, take the ring, flip the ring upside down, reattach, look through the ring to make sure you can see the phosphor plate, and now we are ready to place. This will work for maxillary right and for mandibular left. So the rod is continuing to go more anteriorly, sticking outside of the patient's mouth. Now we can move on to the Schick Sensor XCP. So this one is universal, so you are going to use the same rod and the same ring for all of your shots. So if we start with the anterior, which is blue, you can see that there's a blue rod and a yellow rod on your XCP. You will take your blue bite block, put those together. Now you can take your ring, make sure you use the blue ring, put that together. And so if you look through here, you can see that you cannot see your bite stick. So this one might take a little bit of reworking to be able to build this correctly. So if you just flip this upside down, now you can see your bite block through the little ring. To place the sensor, the sensor has a side where it has the cord attached to it and it has a plain side. So we can place the plain flat side inside of your XCP bite block here. And now that is ready for your anterior placements. So same placements as phosphor plate. We have a canine, central canine, flip it for the mandibular. We have canine, central, canine. For the bite wing, we are going to use the red. So we have our red prongs here. We have our red bite block here. Attach those, use the red part of your ring. Make sure you look through there to see the bite block. And now we can attach the sensor. So this sensor, you wanna make sure that the cord is going in the same direction as your bite block and all of this extra rod. That part will stay outside of the patient's mouth, whereas the rest will fit comfortably inside the patient's mouth. So we can take bite wings on the right side of the patient's mouth. We can flip it to take bite wings on the left side of the patient's mouth. For our last one, the yellow one, we'll take off the red bite block here. The yellow will stick with the yellow and blue rods located here. So put your bite block on, put your yellow ring on, look through the ring to identify this part here. Now we can attach our sensor, lift up the prongs, put our sensor in place, making sure that the cord is going in the same direction as this rod. Otherwise, it can get in the way of your image and it can also be uncomfortable to the patient. So this is built for mandibular right. So we will flip it this way. So when the patient bites down, all these prongs are sticking outside of the patient's mouth. This can be used for maxillary left. So the patient can bite down, all the prongs are facing outward. To take that apart, we are going to take the bite block off, flip the bite block. Now you can flip your ring. You will also have to flip the sensor. As you notice, the cord is going this way. The rod is coming this way. If we flip that, now we have the cord going in the same direction as the rod, and that will be much more comfortable for the patient. So now we have built this for the opposite quadrants. So we have maxillary right located here and mandibular left located here.